Well, hi all. Here we are again. Uh, SV Tapatia. This is the uh, the video log of the build of this boat. Um, and the point of these videos is that we're trying to record the build of a, of a sailboat, a cruising sailboat, 32 foot long cruising sailboat. Um, purpose of that, I suppose, is to show you uh, what's involved. You may well know what's involved, but just to, just to go through the build of this boat step by step to really attempt to record the entire process. If some of you are thinking of building yourselves, maybe it's helpful for you to, to see you know, what all is involved so you can sort of you know, plan it for yourselves. Or maybe you're just interested in mad projects, who knows. Um, I wanted to say what with one thing and another, um, the next two videos, that's this one and next week's, will be, will be shorter. Maybe that's good. I know some of you like shorter videos. Um, on the occasions when I've posted 10 minute videos or so, it's had some positive comments. But next two will be shorter due to circumstances beyond my control, I'm afraid. Um, but we've been getting on this week. The first thing that happened this week was that we took a trip up to Hazel's boat, where she's moored up there, because um, a few months ago, a couple of months ago, I went up there and installed shore power for her. The boat, as it was, didn't have any shore power connection. Um, but it also didn't have a battery charger. And I guess it didn't have a battery charger because it didn't have a, a shore power connection. But we went up there. She got a battery charger for Christmas. Very, <laughs> very romantic. Um, got a battery charger for Christmas. We went up there and installed that. Let's have a look. Well, we're in, it's a horrible day. We're in Hazel's boat. We bought a battery charger, which you're about to unpack, Hazel. Eh? Yes. And and uh, yeah, our goal today is to get it fitted because your batteries are flat, aren't they? They are very much. So. Yeah. <laughs> Due to the fact that the boat doesn't have a battery charger. Exactly. So yeah, so. We installed some shore power uh, a while back, didn't we? But um, with no battery charger, of course, it's not doing anything for the for the onboard batteries. No. Yeah, here's my lovely battery charger that I got for Christmas. <laughs> what a lovely Christmas and present. It is. And it is unpacked by opening the box. This yeah. This would be the charger. I'll come so in there a bit, Hazel. On the cables. There we are. Okay. Yeah. It's supposed to be able to charge two batteries. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Independently. Yes. Yeah. And it should be able to sense when they are full. Yeah, should be. Yeah, we'll leave it on the whole time, so. Yeah. yeah. But it won't do anything when the batteries are full, mm -hmm. so that's fine. Here's our engine room. A little bit dark at the moment, we'll get some light in there. And here's our the two batteries. Um, one starter battery, one leisure battery as it's marked. I tend to call them a service battery, but they're, they're labelled. Leisure I can read on, on that the aftmost of the two batteries there. Starter battery obviously the nearest one. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, it is correct, good. That's all the batteries. Just shine around in the engine room there, Hazel. What else we got there? Water pump there, obviously. Mm. Tanks on either side. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. And the other one is on the other side. Yeah. Here. Good. What sort of tanks are they? Um, we have waste on this side. Right, up in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Uh, water should be over on the other side and fuel. And those pl the plywood side. things, that's the cockpit lockers, is it? Or what's yeah, up? yeah that's the cockpit, cockpit locker. You can okay. take one of the plates out where I'm shining right now. Okay. You can take that out so you can have better access to okay. the engine room. Oh, that's good. Right, lovely. So we've got to find a spot to mount our battery charger. 
Okay, so we mounted the battery charger up here on this nice little bit of wood that was already there. Uh, it is. And the cables will have to go over the engine here somehow. There's some cable clips, they're called. And then where well, you can see the plywood over there, that's the cockpit locker. And inside of that, we'll have the socket which we can plug the battery charger into. Hopefully, the cable should be long enough. So, we have to move our battery charger to back there. Uh, it sits nicely. Our socket is in the cockpit locker on the other side of it. Um, For the mains? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's connected to our two batteries here. And this is a better place for it. We had it on the other side before. It was all a bit iffy. But yeah, it's charging, isn't it? It is, yeah. The lights tell us. Yeah, the sun's coming out for a bit. Isn't that nice? This hose is broke. There's a hose all hard at work in the galley, making tea. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her. Ah, cheered the old place up for a January afternoon. Two boats in the water. We're inside the boat, obviously. You won't be surprised by that. Um, and it looks like a boat that's been worked on. I think there are, you know, tools and clutter around. Have a little scan, Kerry. Very nicely done. The full 360 degrees for you. Lovely. Um, and you saw a week ago or so fitting the galley doors. The galley is to a state where oh, finished isn't the right word, but it, it's there. And what I did next was I ran water. We've got water tanks under the forepeak here, under the, the forward berth. Virtually 200 litres of water tanks under this forward berth. And obviously we need to, to have flexible hose or have some kind of water piping running from those tanks up to the sinks in the galley and into the heads here where a sink will be in the heads. Um, so I bought this flexible hose, um, flex technology, water pipe for boats, very nice. Should be up to the job, as you can see there, it's, it's kind of the double layered thing. And it is nice and flexible, but yet, it seems to carry a weight. It's not a real soft hose, and yet flexible. So, ran it through. I'd already pre-drilled holes under the bunk here. Through the, through the various bulkheads. Yeah, let me have a look. Through these various bulkheads under the, not the bunk, under the, the settee here. Ran it through under the settee and clearly it had to run under the various sections of the galley. And you can see three pipes coming together there where there will be a distributor or a T, basically speaking. One goes off to the galley, one goes under the floor through to the head sink. And the other one clearly runs back to the tank. So that's in position. It's joining up, um, but it's there. And also I bought these, these clamps, which are stainless clamps with a, with a rubber liner on them. Stainless clamps, rubber liner on them, that fit the hose or just to you know, gently fit the hose to clamp them up into place. So it's through and clamped mainly in position and ready to hook up. It's good. Thank you. 
something like that. I've got these stainless clips that are clipping that water hose that you saw me pulling through clipping it up in the cupboard there it's, it's impossible to film so that's what I'm doing these stainless clips screwed through screwed up underneath hose running through just to support Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Um, you know, thumbs up. Leave a comment. It's nice to hear from you. And uh, we'll be back next time for a bit more. See you.